Okay, so what we have here is this gorgeous 1929 Kodak number 1A brownie camera. Beautiful bellows thing. Probably cost a week's wages years ago. Um, and it's got this wonderful setting on. T setting. Which means if you press the shutter down on T, that's open, that's closed. So it's rather handy. Open, closed. Now, I'll leave it on open. And I've put a piece of shower curtain on the back, just where the film plane is. Yeah, that's where your photographic paper is going to go. And to see if it's in focus, you can just hold it up to a light. There you go, got a weird light there. And then just basically move it to such a point that you can see it in focus. Yeah. Um, yeah. May not look very well here, but it works. And you carry on moving it further away until it's in focus. And then you know that's the distance that you can actually position the subject. Take the camera off the T setting, so it doesn't overexpose. And then what we do is put some photographic paper on. So here's our camera. I'm going to get some photographic paper out of the box. Now, there's a bit of daylight. You can see it's shiny side, which is the emulsion side, towards the lens. I'm just going to tape it down either side there and then put the back on so we've got the paper inside we put the back on lock the camera shut and there we have our loaded 100 year old camera ready to go fantastic it's positioned on its tripod and it's photographing this gorgeous setup here there we go so it's a bath toy with a camera on top of my long exposure camera made out of an old World War II reconnaissance lens. So to start the exposure you press the shutter down. Remember this is T so you keep it pressed once and the shutter is open and running. And I go off and have an ice cream because it's the hottest day of the year. Doesn't help, wigs. Leave it. Oh, God. It's not easy doing long exposures, you know. Okay, ten minutes are up. Let's have a go. Get the T shutter and grab it by its handy handle and see what image we've got. So, here we go, the moment of truth, there's an image there, it could do maybe a little longer, so maybe 12 minutes in sunlight, because it's quite a small aperture lens, um, but we'll see what we can do. And we're going to scan it on my lovely USB scanner there, and then use my ancient version of Photoshop to see what we can come up with. 